Meteorologist Andrew Baglini here with us, and uh, we talked about this yesterday. Yeah. Going to keep moving the need. The goalposts continue into the and, week. And didn't they do it again? They did. Right? You uh, called it. Packed on another day. <laughs> I do think Tuesday is going to be the last one. Though. The finish line. It's in sight. We're going to get. I'll tell you what. Next weekend, I'm, I'm actually really excited. Some it's gold be stars. Awesome. I yeah. saw that. It's yeah. going to be awesome. Looking forward to that. Low humidity, not hot, still enjoyable. So just think that we we can <laughs> we can get through the next couple of days. Then we are kind of smooth sailing into the end of the week. Beautiful look. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Beautiful look down at Ocean City. That was the place to be to beat the heat on a day like today. But you're really going to want to beat the heat over the next couple of days. That's really going to be the worst of it. The heat will continue to build over the next couple of days. Mid 90s on tap for your Monday and Tuesday. Along with that, the humidity stays high until those midweek thunderstorms along a series of two cold fronts. One's going to arrive late Tuesday, but the more impactful one will be late Wednesday bringing us that relief from the heat. Until then, though, two more days of heat advisories across the region with heat index values reaching up to 105 at times, especially during the afternoons. Feeling like upper 90s this afternoon across the area, other than some of the rain-cooled air up near the Poconos, a few showers and thunderstorms moving on through, but those showing some signs of weakening. Taking a look at the humidity, staying steady over the next two or three days or so, even building a little bit into Wednesday before that cold front moves through, and then it just drops off. It continues to fall right into the weekend. Really going to feel very nice out there. A lot of sunshine here in Philadelphia and much of the region for that matter, but we do have some thunderstorms along the line rolling through into the Lehigh Valley. Some downpours along with this. Not really concerned for severe weather necessarily, but certainly some heavy rain. Maybe make it feel a little cooler briefly, but it doesn't take any of the humidity out of the air. As we lose the daylight this evening, any of those showers and storms will fall apart. Should be dry as we wake up tomorrow morning and hit the road. It's going to be a very warm start to the day and turning into a hot afternoon. Still an isolated thunderstorm chance kind of popping up in the afternoon. Very hit or miss. Most areas still looking to be dry for your Monday. Tuesday, hottest day of the week at this point. I'm thinking mid to maybe even some upper 90s, certainly feeling like triple digits there. But then that first cold front I mentioned moves in late in the day on Tuesday, moves in from the north and west. So I think we'll deal with a few more widespread showers and thunderstorms as we get into the late afternoon, evening time frame of Tuesday. And then uh, that second cold front will move in on Wednesday. That's the more impactful one. So your forecast tonight, isolated thunderstorms taper, mild and muggy. It's going to be a hot one to start off the week, mid 90s with a lot of sunshine, isolated thunderstorms. Storm chance, most areas dry. Tuesday, same story, mostly sunshine, dry until late day thunderstorms roll on through. It's Wednesday when things start to change. Another cold front moves in toward the evening, and then temperatures falling with humidity lower right into the end of the week. And right now, next weekend is looking absolutely beautiful. Gold stars across the page <laughs> there. All right, Andrew, thank you so much.